The Panthers versus Broncos kicks off this Sunday. This is a matchup is going to be big. The Broncos have the number one defense, and there is a high possibility that this may be head quarterback Peyton Manning's last game. The Panthers boast the number one offense, making this game kind of intense. The Panthers have some key players as well. Linebacker Luke Keekley over the past two years has more tackles than anyone in the NFL. Also, you cannot forget Cam Newton, who is athletic, competitive, and going to be a large competitor to Broncos QB Peyton Manning. John Brown scored 22 points in the game with nine rebounds. Player Lorenzo Cuccini and Adam Weary put up 16 points. The basketball team fell to Liberty Saturday, 56 to 43. They are looking for a W this week, and the ladies will take on Presbyterian Saturday at two. It is February 2nd, 2016, and I am Courtney Leopold here with Amir Tyree and Carter Heron. I feel like Cam Newton is kind of like a Peyton Manning years ago when Peyton Manning first started. He was gold, and now like he just basically is saying like Cam Newton's coming in hot, so yeah. you better give it to the last game, you know? Tough. Amir, what do you think? Well, personally, I think the Panthers are going to run up the score on him. Uh, I know the Broncos do have the best defense in the league, of course, like rushers like Von Miller and DeMarcus Ware. They're going to put pressure, but the Panthers do put six or seven blockers on at a time. They have a Pro Bowl uh, fullback in Mike Tolbert, who's just a bowling ball pretty much. So I think he's going to block and Cam's going to make plays. I think Michael Orr also is going to make some really interesting plays. It's kind of cool that he's yeah. in the blind side yeah. and now we have like an actual he could be a Super Bowl winner. Mm -hmm. So there's a, there's a lot going on this Super Bowl. Well, Brooke, the men's lacrosse team were on fire versus Mercer, winning 17-3. Sophomore Peyton Garrett and junior Nick Basil had record days. Peyton with two goals and one assist. Nick with one goal and one assist. Goalie Tim Tranner made 14 stops and a goal and a caused a turnover that won the game. Amir, how did the women's team... Howdy day here, but it's 72. It's a little sunny. I'm here with Brett Derskatsky. The High Point Panthers are playing great state. In their first meeting, preseason to win the Horizon League title, and the High Point Panthers are in the Big South. Brett, definitely going to be a big game. High Point beat Bears twice in their three game series last weekend, while Wright State lost its last two games to NC State in their three game series of the weekend. Brett, what are some keys for both teams going into this game? Well, some keys for now, now, Jeremy Johnson, a junior pitcher from Rocky Mountain, is now taking the mound after Jeffers has set him up to. Really do very well actually at this point. He's only let up one one hit for the Wright State Raiders. And Jeff, Jeremy Johnson from Rocky Mountain, like I said, he's also a sports link. That's true, yeah. Too. That's very true. Courtney, what are you looking for in today's game? I'm looking for, well, this is a, a the first matchup for um, High Point and Maris. They've never actually played against each other before. And there are some key players for both. Uh, Matt Pagano is Maris's senior co-captain and has appeared in 143 games with the Red Foxes. And he's had some really big hits and will be definitely someone to watch in this game. Um, for High Point, you, like you said, Scott Hoffman, he's a redshirt senior. He's uh, He was really roughed up last week in the start of the season versus UNCG. But after going two and, 20, and two third innings and allowing six turn runs last weekend, He's coming back tonight or today, and, and he's going to just try his best, I think. And the Lancer dugout really getting into it down there. Harvell makes a big shot out to Mansfield. Mansfield misses the ball, and now you have Basic going in for home. It's going to be a single for Harvell, and Basic has made another point for the Lancers. They are now up 2-1. Two, two, and that's that gonna, was a big play for Harvell. Mansfield could just not get to the ball in time. Well, I think Mansfield, he saw it, and he tried to make what would have been an incredible, another incredible play. He dove for it. 